I, Scorpio, Happy New Year and Happy January. This is your January forecast. On the fourth of this month, we've got Venus, planet of love and money, joining Mars and Neptune in your fifth house. What a beautiful combination of planets. Venus, Mars and Neptune in the house of romance, in the house of pleasure. If you're looking for romance, this could be your lucky time. It's really encouraging you here to tune in to what you do that's creative. And let's describe creative because creative isn't just painting and art and music. Creative is just your unique ability to do something that brings you pleasure. You can be a creative scientist, you can be a creative writer, you can be creative in sewing, you can be creative in cooking. Where is your creativity that makes your heart sing? Venus the heart. When your heart is singing, that's when you draw to you people also whose hearts are singing and you bring about that feeling of well-being. This is wonderful for doing anything with children but also wonderful for bringing out the child within you. You know how it was when you were little and you were doing something that you enjoyed so much you forgot about everything. That's what this is all about. So what a wonderful way to start the year. Now Mercury, the planet uh, that rules travel and technology and communication, is retrograde until the ninth of the month. So chances are things might be a little bit slow. So I'm just going to suggest Scorpios don't push things. If things aren't moving very much, relax and just allow things to happen in their own good time. And trust that they're happening when they're supposed to be happening. And then you'll find it much easier to contend with the Mercury energy. Now on the 12th of the month we've got a full moon happening up here in your ninth house, Scorpios. So a full moon in your ninth. This is shining a light on your education, your learning. Is there something you'd like to study? Is there something you'd like to learn and go deeper with? This would be a great time to look into that. It's also a great time to travel, to plan a trip to somewhere that you'd really like to go to. It's shining a light on you, expanding your horizons a little bit. Perhaps you've been limited in some ways. Now's the time to really expand and look outwards rather than inwards. Sometimes Scorpios look inwards. You're quite an internal sign. This is pushing you out a little. On the 13th of January, we've got Mercury joining Pluto and the Sun in your third house. This is going to be good for some communications, good for networking, good for negotiating, good for writing, good for speaking, good for selling anything. It's also going to be very good for having any kind of deep conversations taking something to a deeper level, and very, very good for studying. On the 20th of January, we've got the sun coming into your fourth house, and on the 28th, we've got a lovely new moon in your fourth house of home, of family. So you might be planning a move, but you also might be renewing and refreshing your home in some way, your environment, maybe painting, maybe getting some new things, maybe um, doing something new so that your whole environment feels refreshed. It's also going to be good for some new beginnings with family, with family members. If there's been some difficulties, it's an opportunity to really surmount those difficulties and start new and start fresh. And maybe you'll have an opportunity to see a situation from a different light. And that will bring you some inner peace. And on the 
29th of the month, we've got Mars joining Uranus in your sixth house here of work. So this is really going to be time to really get going with a project. Wonderful time. This is when something can really get moving. If you're looking for work, be proactive. Mars is saying, come on, let's do it. But it's very much about you taking the initiative and you taking the action. And this would apply to your physical well-being. Boy, if there was ever a time to get into something physical, dancing, going to the gym if that's your thing, running, walking, whatever it is, sailing, Mars is encouraging you to get moving that body. And it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still do some movements. And that's what that Mars is wanting you to really take note of. So it's an exciting month ahead. There could be some goodies in your dreams, Scorpio. So it might be worth having a pen and paper by the bed because you might get some really uh, powerful, even prophetic messages coming through. So thank you very much for commenting. I love hearing your comments, reading your comments. And thank you for sharing and subscribing. Happy January!